The big story at 7 o'clock, a push to find solutions to car thefts in Baltimore City. The frustration continues to grow, the trend showing no signs of slowing down. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. I mean, we know car thefts in Baltimore City at an all time high, and city council members taking action now, desperate to stop them. That's right. The council plans to hold a hearing, bringing several agencies together to try to tackle this problem. WJZ is live tonight. Jessica Albert spoke with the councilman who proposed this hearing. What did he say, Jessica? Nikki, it's Councilman Zeke Cohen who is the driving force behind this effort to try to reduce car thefts in the city. It comes after one of his constituents was actually killed over the summer during a carjacking. Car thefts are up 220 percent in Baltimore in 2023. According to data from the Baltimore Police Department, there have been more than 7,700 car thefts this year and 380 carjackings. Councilman Z Cohen says about 27 cars are stolen in the city each day. At Monday night's council meeting, Cohen proposed a resolution to hold an investigative hearing with state and local agencies to try to brainstorm ways to reduce the number of car thefts. When WJZ interviewed Cohen, about this hearing, he brought up one of his constituents who was killed trying to help his nephew while he was being carjacked on South Curley Street in Canton in August. 57 year old Daryl Benner it shows that this is a really serious issue in our communities, and through collaboration, through working together with state local and federal partners, I believe that we can make a serious dent in reducing this very serious crime. And there is no date set for this hearing yet. But coming up tonight on WJZ News at 11, you'll hear from Baltimore County Police and how they say all of these car thefts are impacting their communities. We'll also have much more from leaders on what they're trying to do to tackle this issue. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ. Jessica, thank you.